What's up everybody? Welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today I'm going to put to the test corn gadgets. Let's see what I got. For the first corn gadget I got here corn cooker. Never seen this one before so hopefully it works really good because cooking microwave corn is the easiest way to do it. Very cool it comes with the corn holders two for each. Okay let's do this. Step one, we'll have to peel the corn. Most of the corn comes like this. And you know what guys, in the last gadget videos I have put to the test this corn brush. You see to remove all this hair. I still use it, look at that. It works so well. Boom. And on this side. Fast and easy, ready to cook without any of this corn stuff. Then we're gonna screw in the corn holders. That's pretty cool. That's definitely going to hold it very, very nicely. Yeah. But kinda takes a while to screw it in. I wish it was just plug it in, that's it. You know what guys, I think I gotta chop a piece off so it will work and easier to screw it in into the corn cob. There you go. Yeah, for sure. That way it's easier. Otherwise, there's no way it's gonna work. Same thing here. I'm gonna chop this up a little bit now that I know how it works. There you go. Let's go this in. You know, when you chop it, it is a lot easier. Look at that. So just sacrifice a little bit of a corn. No big deal. Now on this side, this back side is very easily too. But one thing for sure, it's not going to come off. It sits in there really, really tight. And put one in here. And then cover it quick and clean in just five to seven minutes. So I'm going to put it for six minutes into the microwave. Okay, six minutes later, let's take this out. This is nice, not too hot, but pretty warm to the touch. Okay, let's open this up. Whoa, look at that. Definitely very well cooked corn. Pretty soft. Now obviously you can put it on a plate and you have the holders, not too bad, and ready to eat. They say you can put butter right here and because it's hot it will melt it really really fast and really good. But then you'll have to spread it with the knife, it's not so comfortable to do so. Guess what, I have a special corn butter. So let's see what it's all about. Okay, it looks like a silicone holder with the top, the cover right here closes like that, okay, we're gonna stick a piece of butter inside there, boom, and then it's going to close like that, pretty interesting but it doesn't really dispense the butter, you have to kind of hold it and whoop, push it out, so you know what, I'm a little bit disappointed because how do you do that, I guess you drop it like that and hold it, the butter, and go up and down and as you can see it's really hard to hold it okay let's put it back in so you just hold it like that and just hope it doesn't fall but you know what it does work look at that butter so let's butter up the other piece of corn right here it is definitely not the most comfortable thing because look at that, it is easy to slip out, hard to hold like that, and butter is slipper inside there, so you can just lose it like that. So nothing really holds it but your hands right here. And then you have to drop it, use it like this. You see it? Butter it up. And then when you're done, you just close it like that. You know what, I've seen way better butter dispensers for the corn, so you know what, I might pass on that. I thought it would be a lot cooler than that. Honestly, I can do the same thing in a piece of paper. And once I'm done, I just put it back in a piece of paper, just as uncomfortable. But anyways, you guys be the judge, what do you think about this butter corn spreader? Okay, the corn is buttered up, ready to go, still really, really hot. 
but I know a lot of people do not like to eat the corn of the cup. They would prefer it cutting it and stripping it first. So I have another couple gadgets for that. This one is a brand new. I never seen one before. So let's see if it actually works really good. So it looks like you stick the corn right here somewhere in the back and then put it in. See what happens. You know what's funny? That microwaveable corn maker made the corn a little bit, I don't know what you call it, very, very soft. Maybe I should have just cooked it for five minutes, not six minutes. Maybe it overcooked it a little bit. But as you can see, this corn staple with a knife like that works pretty good. Don't forget to get H and every single piece of corn out of the corn cob. Don't waste any food. Boom. You know what? I say it was successful. Let's try this one more time with a bigger knife. This is not bad. Easy to spin it. Stays pretty good in there. Spin one more time, and two more slices, we good. Very nice. Wow, check this out, stripped it so well. I really like this corn staple. If you like to strip corn with a knife, this is probably would be the best way to go. Because this is, doesn't slide and the corn will be hot, easy to hold it, I like it. I also have another corn staple in case this one is better than the other one. So you open it up and clean it up. You see you got a bunch of hairs again. It comes with a brush. Really, really easy to clean it. Hmm, not bad, but guess what? I prefer this one any day. Clean this side and then clean this side. Still using it, still amazing. I actually have two of them. But anyways, let's see how well this corn is going to get stripped with this thing. So first of all, I'm gonna to try to strip it, the corn uncooked. Hmm, not bad, check this out. Strips it really, really well. But as you can see, it's hard to hold it compared to the other one. So, you see how I have to hold the whole corn? And if it's cooked, it will be really, really hard to strip it like that. Because it would be super hot and I would have to wear gloves because I don't want to touch all that corn with my hands and then somebody else have to eat it. You know what I mean? And it doesn't kind of cut deep enough. Check this out. So let's start to do the same thing with the cooked corn. You know what? Not bad. Let's try this again. This corn is so flimsy for some reason. I like this corn staple actually. It works better with the cooked corn, that's for sure. You can really dig in and slice it up. As long as you have some kind of holder like that, it would be no problem. Not bad. Let's see if I can do better. Okay, this time I'm gonna try to really dig in and look at that, it comes off like a big pieces. One more time. Yeah, as long as you have a holder, like one of these things, it is pretty easy to strip it. Actually easier than with a knife. So you know what, you be the judge, which one would you like better and be comfortable with. Have to tie out yourself, I guess. And one more, boom. You know what, I like this gadget a lot actually. I need to cook more corn for some more gadgets, but guess what, I figured it out how to use this. Actually pretty awesome. As long as you cut some of the corn, it is really easy to spin it into the cup. And this time we're only going to microwave it for five minutes instead of six minutes. So that way it's not going to get overcooked and sag. Five minutes in, looks nice. The corn, the cob, I mean, 
is kind of soft again, but it looks really cooked. For the next gadget, I got here probably the coolest cone holders. Let's open it up. As you can see, this is not just cone holders, also it's a cone stand. But let's say you cook a bunch of corn, you don't want to touch it with your hand and put this in, like stub it too. Ah, it's also hot and you're making it messy. You probably will need corn tones. Check this out. Let's see if it works. Works pretty good. Let's stub it too into here, into the cup. You know what, I'll have to set it down sideways like that. And on this side as well. Okay, and then you can set it on a plate or even on a floor. That's pretty interesting. How cool is that? You set your corn, even if you're camping out and you don't have any plates, you can set it up on a rock and it's not touching the dirt or the floor or the table. I like it. It's really cool. As you can see, they work well. Pretty fun and unique gadget. I'll definitely use it in the future. Also, there is a regular tones. Let's lift it up. No problem, no problem, no problem. Oh, this one fell off. Let's set it back. So is this one. Honestly, maybe you have a little bit better grip, but overall it is pretty much the same thing, except the other tones are made for everything. Just as a good grip, doesn't come off. And a non-cooked one. So you know what guys, you be the judge. Would you buy these stones just for the corn? Or would you use the tones that actually made for everything like this ones? Well guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below which gadget was your favorite. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe for more gadgets and videos like that. And I'll see you next time.